Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I will teach you the seven most common uses of the verb get. So let's start. Before we get into the lesson, as always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section below and I will talk to you there. Also, there is a quiz at the end of this lesson to test your understanding. Now, the most common meaning of get is to mean receive, obtain, or buy something. For example, I got some old books from my grandfather. It means I received some old books. In the next example, we've gotten 50 emails in the past three days. It means we have received 50 emails. Notice that the first sentence is in the past simple tense and the second sentence is in the present perfect tense. So in sentence number two, we are using the third form of get, the past participle form. The verb get is irregular. That is, we don't say getted to make the past simple or past participle forms. The correct forms are get, got, and gotten. In American English, gotten is more common and in British English, got is the preferred past participle form. So in number two, you could say we've got 50 emails. That would be the British English form. Here are two more examples. Harry just got a job at the airport. It means he obtained a job or that he was hired for a job at the airport. And finally, what are you getting me for my birthday? It means what present are you going to buy for me for my birthday? Okay, let's move on to the second use. In British English, the expression have got is used a lot to mean have. It's used in American English as well, but it's more common in British English. The expression is used in two ways. The first is to talk about ownership or relationship. For example, I've got two sisters. Sarah has got Wi-Fi at home. Have you got time for a coffee? The second function is to express obligation or necessity. That is by using have got to in the place of have to. Like in these examples, you've got to get up early tomorrow or he has got to learn German to live in Austria. In all of these sentences, you can use have or has instead of have got or has got and the meaning would be the same. But there is an important point here. When we use have got in these two ways, it does not have a past tense. To change these sentences to the past, just use had. For example, say Sarah had Wi-Fi at home which means she doesn't have it now. Or, he had to learn German to live in Austria. Don't use had got to mean had. It's wrong. Remember that. All right, the third use of get is to make offers and requests. Take this question for example. Could you get me the menu, please? You might say this at a restaurant. Here, get means bring. It's like asking, could you bring me the menu? Instead of the menu, you can say, get me a cup of coffee, get me a sandwich, anything. The next example, can I get you something to drink, is an offer. Here, I'm offering to bring you something to drink. It's very common to say this to a guest. So the next time you have a friend over at your place, ask your friend, hey, can I get you something to drink or something to eat maybe? Okay, let's move on to the next use. The verb get is often used when we want to talk about traveling to mean to arrive or to reach a place. For example, I got home late yesterday evening because of the traffic. That means I reached home late. A common question that's asked on the phone is, what time will you get here? That means, what time are you going to reach this place? Here's another common example. I don't think we'll get to the movie theater on time. That means we're running late and we're going to miss the start of the movie. And here's one last example. Call me as soon as you get to the office. Notice that in the first two examples, after get, we have adverbs, home and here. Because they're adverbs, we don't use to. But in the last two examples, we use to because we have nouns, the movie theater and the office. Remember that. All right, the fifth use of get 
is to mean to become or to change. For example, the kids got really scared when they saw the spider. That means they became scared. In this type of sentence, you have get followed by an adjective. In the next example, I've made sandwiches in case we get hungry. Similarly, I keep forgetting things. I think I'm getting old. This is a common expression and it's said humorously, that is, in a funny way. In the final example, Arnold and Erica got married in 2011. The phrase get married is very popular. You will hear it a lot. Other common ones are get ready, get dressed, get cleaned up, etc. Okay, use number six is to talk about bad experiences or events. For example, I got fired for being late to work. That means I went late to work and my boss fired me. That is, I lost my job. The next example is similar. Vijay's wallet got stolen when he was walking in the park. So maybe he got pickpocketed. Notice that both of these sentences are in the passive voice. I got fired means my boss fired me. His wallet got stolen means somebody stole his wallet. The words fired and stolen are verbs in the past participle or the third form. But you can also talk about bad experiences with adjectives. For example, don't eat too much candy or you might get sick. Sick is an adjective. Or nouns such as I got a cold from one of my friends. A cold is a noun. Alright, and the final use of the verb get is to mean understand. Probably the most common expression in this meaning is I don't get it. This is an informal way of saying, I don't understand it. Another popular expression is the opposite, I get it. It means, I understand it. Or if someone, like your boss, gives you an instruction, like, send me the report by tomorrow, you might say, got it. It's short for, I've got it, meaning, I have understood it. A related expression is, do you get what I'm saying? This is also informal and it's just a way of asking, do you understand what I'm saying? These are all useful expressions that you can use in conversation. Alright, if you're ready, now it's time for the quiz. There are 10 sentences on the screen, but you see that they're all jumbled up. Stop the video, arrange them into correct sentences, then play the video again and check. All right, number one is, I got a new laptop for Christmas from my dad. You can also say, I got a new laptop from my dad for Christmas. Here, got means received. Number two, Grace has got a great family. In this sentence, has got means have. So it's like saying, Grace has a great family. Number three, you have got to eat a good breakfast every morning. You have got to means you have to. Number four, could you get me a glass of water? Here, get means bring. Number five, make sure you get to the airport on time. Get means to reach. Number six, what time do the kids get home from school? Again, get means reach here, but we don't use to because home is an adverb. Number seven, my brother got engaged last week. You could also say, last week, my brother got engaged. This means he became engaged. That is, he has agreed to get married to a woman sometime in the future. Number eight, Javier got arrested for drunk driving yesterday. You could also say, yesterday, Javier got arrested for drunk driving. We use get or got here to show that something bad happened to Javier. He was arrested. Number nine, I don't get why horror movies are so popular. Get means understand in this sentence. So it's like saying, I don't understand why horror movies are so popular. Why do people like them so much? And finally, number 10 is, it was confusing at first, but I get it now. Again, get means understand. Okay, how many answers did you get right? Let me know in the comments. This lesson came from a request by four viewers. Akbar Deen, Irwin Cornejo Retis, Seema, 
and Rakesh from Andhra Pradesh, India. All right, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button for more free English lessons, and I will see you in another lesson soon.